Hello viewers, I welcome you all from my child tech channel and today we are going to talk about how we can uh, import data uh, into our various entities in dynamic CRM as you all know that uh, dynamic CRM is actually based upon the entities we make some custom entities right uh, like uh, for example we create a entity in our previous video that was product details in product details there were various uh, <coughs> fields or attributes here you can see that there was a, a field of name which is normally a data type of a simple text then there was a product id which was a data type of uh, option set then one more option sets and then there was an other option set of warranty then there was again a dimension of uh, plain data type then there was again a uh, choice column that is option set and so on so there were different entities uh, that were available in it and uh, if we go on clicking new here you can see that there were different entities okay now uh, if we want to import data from an external excel file into this entity we have to perform some certain steps for example there is a, a million of records that are there in your uh, excel file and now you want to import that record into this entity then there are some steps that you have to follow and they are very easy so going towards these steps first of all here is the option of import data in that you can directly import data or you can download a template in which the record must be of that template okay so first of all we will download the template here <coughs> okay uh, now the template has been downloaded if we go into downloads here you can see that the template is downloaded we will just uh, I will copy it and will place it in my local uh, computer because I have uh, office set up here not in my server that I was opening now if I go again and open that here you can see that there are different columns or and or attributes in an entity <coughs> that must be uh, filled so if we see here here you can see that this is a text whenever you click on any uh, attribute it will tell you the data type this is uh, or or one entity record and it must be already exist because it's a lookup column and that is uh, retrieving the entity from another column here is an honor and it's showing that uh, this honor record must already exist in dynamics so there is no need to fill it now the category here you are seeing that category is a drop down list and you have to select any of the option here <coughs> same for entity and so on so whenever you click any column uh, you will see that uh, there is a description box that is telling you that what, what data or what data type is of that column and whether it is mandatory or it is already available in your dynamics <coughs> so you can either copy uh, you your data must be in that format in order to import it successfully to your entity so you have to uh, copy your data that is in your available existing list as per this pattern to this list or alternatively you have to convert that excel list that is uh, to be imported in that entity records uh, it should be of same data types and columns <clears throat> otherwise your importing uh, process will give you some errors so let's say we have one item uh, number item dash import one 
and uh, if I go into the category this category is kitchen item warranty is two years dimension is one by one by six these are just a sample data there's no need to worry it depends upon your uh, options that what data you are selecting and uh, product ID must be kitchen item dash nine eight this is yeah item ID okay so we have successfully updated the first record <coughs> and if I go and uh, select the second one and uh, let me select it like uh, import to and it will be of uh, cooling unit or household item the warranty is one year dimension 2 by 5 by 3 and uh, it's a household item and it's uh, is each applicable the sales price is this one and we are giving it a unique product ID that is household item HI-0097 okay so we have successfully uh, updated two records here now I have saved it <coughs> and now we will see how we can import that uh, record into this entity so I will paste it here this is the record and now if I uh, select it right now we have five records here now I will go into import data choose file this is the file we will click next and it's telling you that uh, whether you are allowing duplicate records or no I am saying no I will not allow the duplicate records to avoid repetition and the owner of this uh, record since I am logging with this ID so it is the owner who is going to import that I'm going to submit <coughs> now you can see that your uh, data has been imported successfully and if I go into data imports here is the data that is uh, imported successfully right now okay so I will finish it records may increase to product details here you can see that the records have been increases from 5 to 7 and the data I have just imported was this one these are the two records which have been imported by me so in this way you can import the data in your excel files from your external system to this system entities records so this is the procedure the overall things I have tell you the data types must be the same and the data within that units for example drop down or the text field or the values that are telling you must be same for example here you can see that whenever you click here the information right here is must be authentic if I uh, update it with some any other field there will just be some errors that uh, you have not followed the data type uh, principles or attributes okay i thank you for watching this short video and guys please subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all